Hero images are a great way to give your website a professional edge or just to add a little bit of pizzazz if that's what you're after. A hero image, if you don't know, is a large image that goes at the top of your site. It usually consists of a headline, subheadline, maybe some text, an image, buttons, and a background image. Using the tools that I'm gonna go over in this video, you'll be able to create a high quality hero image using free site origin plugins. I'll even show you where to find some high quality free stock photography. So you'll be able to create your entire hero image without hiring a designer, a developer, or a photographer. All right, let's get started. This is the hero image that we will be creating in this guide. I'll create a hero image with just a single frame, but the widget also supports multiple frames if you need several messages on your site. To start, you'll need to make sure that you have the latest versions of Site Origin Page Builder and the widgets bundle installed. I'll include links to those down below. After you've installed the widgets bundle, you'll need to make sure that you have the hero image widget enabled. It's disabled by default, but you can activate it by navigating to Plugins, Site Origin Widgets, then activate the hero image widget. Let's start by creating a new page that we'll eventually use as our homepage. Navigate to Pages, then Add New. We'll use Page Builder to create this page, so click on the Page Builder tab. Now create a new row, then add a new hero image widget to this row. You can leave most of these options down here at their default values. The main thing we'll be looking at is hero frames up at the top here. Let's add a frame by clicking on Add underneath the Hero Frames section, and then click on the frame heading to expand it. The first field is the content text of the hero image. This is where we will enter our main message. Be sure to use different headline sizes to represent different levels of content. So a heading one to represent the main headline and heading two or three to represent subheadlines. You can also add images and normal text. The last thing you'll need to do here is add a button shortcode to represent where the buttons will go. You'll be adding the buttons later, so don't worry about that too much. This shortcode is just the word buttons between square brackets. Now onto our buttons. These are the main actions that you want your users to perform, like contact us or find out more. These buttons are very customizable. You can change colors, styles, sizes, and everything else quite easily. The last thing we need to do is choose our background image. For that, we'll find an image on Pixabay, but you can use any stock photography site. Pixabay is a great source for free images. I want a vibrant city photo, so I'll search for city street and choose one I like. We'll then upload this file to WordPress and finally click save. So this is how our hero image looks now, but we'd like the image to be a little bit darker so the text stands out. Here, we'll choose a very dark gray as the background color and change the photo opacity to let this background show through. Great, I like the look of that. And there you go, you now have a big beautiful hero image for your WordPress site. Remember, you can use this technique with any theme. It'll just slot right in there. If you need any help, please feel free to post over on the Site Origin forums. We offer free support there for all our products and it's free to sign up, free to post. So yeah, we'll, we'll see you there. Thanks for watching everyone. My name is Greg from Site Origin and you can now create hero images. That's, that's your superpower. It's a good superpower. I wish I had that superpower. I have that superpower.